Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a transformation. These nails went from like zero to 100 real quick. So if you guys want to learn how to transform your nails or someone else's nails the same way, please keep on watching. So as I usually do, I wanted to show you guys a before so you can see the transformation of these nails. Here is a before and after, and if you want to learn how to do the nails below, please keep on watching. On this occasion, I will be using one of my own mixtures. This is a soft pink color that I created and I absolutely love. And to apply it, I will be using my number 14 German Kalinske brush. I'm going to start with the pinky nail by applying a thin layer of the pink color because later I am going to apply glitter and encapsulate it so I don't want it to look thick at the end. I am also going to apply a layer of the same color on the ring, the index, and the thumb fingernails, and I am going to repeat the same process to both hands. Now for the middle fingernail, I want to create an accent with white, so with the same brush I am going to apply a very thin layer of white acrylic because later I will also be adding glitter on top of this and I will be encapsulating. The glitter that I am going to apply is the same glitter that I used in my last video for my nails. I am going to mix it with a little bit of clear acrylic and as you can see on screen, I will apply it on the nail, stir it and disperse it so that I am left with an even layer. This part of the process will apply to the pinky and the middle fingernails of both hands. I am now going to encapsulate all the nails using clear acrylic.
It is now time to file these nails, so I will be using a professional hand file to give them the shape and a fine metal carbide bit to remove the excess of the acrylic. Do not forget to let the acrylic dry very well before proceeding to this point. This is what the nails look like so far after filing and cleansing them very well. And now I will be applying a layer of gel top coat on the index fingernail. I will cure it under an LED lamp for 60 seconds. Then I will apply a chrome effect to give them a special touch and to make this design stand out much more. This effect is one of my favorites because it closely resembles the finish of angel paper with the difference that this one is much easier to handle. All you have to do is introduce your fingertip into the content, then rub the product on the surface of the nail after the gel has been cured. You can apply the amount that you prefer, however I frankly prefer to make it look a little bit more saturated so that it gives more life to the design and the effect is more visible. I am going to remove the excess using a soft bristle brush. Then I am going to apply a gel top coat on all nails including the chrome nail and I am going to cure it under an LED lamp for 60 seconds. The only nail that I am not top coating right now is the ring fingernail because I am going to add 3D art later in this video. I am going to utilize a 3D art nail brush and the same white acrylic I previously used for the middle fingernails. I am going to pick up really small beads of acrylic and I am going to apply them to create a 3D flower. I am showing you this portion of the video in real time so you can see how long I wait before I start pressing the bead to give it the shape. I am going to bring my brush into a point every time I get out of the camera is because I am manipulating my brush on the paper towel to either remove the excess or to bring my brush to a point. I am going to start by pressing the middle of the bead going downwards towards the tip, not necessarily all the way down to the tip but in that direction and then I will press the sides to give it the shape of a petal. In total I will create 7 petals to complete the flower. Now, to give a more detailed finish to the flower, I will be using the same caviar beads I used in my last video but in silver, Swarovski crystals in size SS5 and SS3, and lastly, to pick up the caviar beads and the crystals I will be using in Belly Jelly. Many of you ask me what I use to pick up my stones and what I use is this wax that I place on the tip of my orange stick and that I press with my fingertips until I take it to the desired shape. This is by far my most favorite wax ever and I have been using it for years. It is super cheap and it also lasts forever. To secure the crystals on the surface of the nails, I will be using Kiara Sky's Dippin' Base since this product could also be used as nail glue. I will start by applying an SS5 crystal in the middle of the flower 
and two silver caviar beads on the sides. To the side, I will create a very subtle design of crystals and caviar beads cascading down to the tip of the nail, starting with an SS5 crystal, two SS3 crystals, and close to the tip of the nails, I will place three caviar beads to give it more definition. I will also place three caviar beads to connect the crystal design that I just created with the flower, and I will finish the center of the flower by placing two SS3 crystals on the sides and a caviar bead in the middle. This part of the process is completely optional, however, when I am working on clients, I don't like to abstain from it since this keeps the crystals and caviar beads in place. I am utilizing the same 3D brush that I previously used to create the flower petals and clear acrylic to precisely go over the caviar beads and around the crystals to secure them. After allowing the acrylic to completely dry and after cleansing the nail, I am going to use a precision brush and the same gel top coat. I am going to apply the gel top coat on top of the pink part of the nail only, not on top of the flower or the crystals to prevent them from losing their texture and shine. I am going to use the precision brush to gently go over the caviar beads and to reach the small gaps I couldn't get to with the larger brush. I am going to cure this product under an LED lamp for 60 seconds. After curing, I am going to finish this job off by applying cuticle oil. And drum rolls, please! Here is the final product of these nails. I love the way they came out. I would so rock these nails. Would you rock these nails? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. If you love this video, don't forget to subscribe, to share with your family, your friends, your pets, with everybody. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Mwah.